Hello, my friend, and welcome. I'm delighted to welcome you to this poetry celebration in honor of April's National Poetry Month. My name is Kate Chadbourne, and I'm a singer and storyteller and poet and teacher. And I run the Bardic Academy, which is a school for musicians and singers and poets and Celtic scholars. I am hosting this celebration in conjunction with the journal makers Jumping Fox Design, a woman-based company run out of California. And Jumping Fox Design has very generously uh, provided the prizes that we'll be using in our celebration. More on that in a moment. More importantly, who are you? Now, some of you have joined me. This is our third celebration, and some of you have joined in the first two. If you haven't, you're very welcome. If you have, you're very welcome. Some of you consider yourselves poets. Some of you don't. Everyone is welcome. How about age? How about background? Let me just say, you can be very young. You can be very old. You can be anywhere in between. Every age, every race, every identity, every background is so welcome to participate. And how do you participate? You participate by writing poems. So our celebration goes like this. I will record a video for you every week. Uh, and during that video, I'll be reading some of your poems. I'll be giving you some prompts and what I call poetry sparks to get you writing. And I'll invite you to send me poems every Friday. And then you'll receive a new video on Monday, which you can watch right here on YouTube. So you can write as many or as few poems as you like. You know, I, I like to say, if you don't write a lot of poems, wouldn't it be wonderful to write one poem in April or four poems? I will be joining lots of other people in writing a poem every day for April. And as I love to say, I like to keep it easy and fun and drafty. I don't expect my poems to be masterpieces. I just love that they exist. We can revise later, but during April, it's all about creating in the moment. It's about participating. It's about being in the community of poets and having fun. So you'll be receiving this weekly video. And as I said, there are prizes. How do you win a prize? You simply send me a poem. You can send me one poem or seven poems in the week. Uh, I'll ask you to send them in one email. That makes my life easier. And say that you, you send me four weeks of poems. You'll be put into a drawing at the end of our time together four times. If you send me two uh, packets of poems, you'll get two um, entries. We have wonderful prizes this year, and I want to show them right away. Our sponsor, Jumping Fox Design, they are marvelous. And they have a new, uh, a new product this year, a small notebook. And I, wanted, I just wanted to take it out and show you. This is how it comes in this lovely little box. And to me, so this is called an A6 notebook. This is a little linen notebook. Uh, it's a beautiful notebook, lovely paper, numbered pages, just gorgeous. Little, a little pocket in the back, I don't know if you can see that, and a book, silk bookmark. You know, if you know me, you know I love all of this. And I hope that you're seeing that I have coordinated the notebook with my pearls and with my blouse. Um, this notebook is perfect for bringing, putting in your pocket or your pocketbook or your backpack and bringing around to capture inspiration on the go. So I'm just so excited to use this. Uh, and you might like to use one like this, or in fact, buy one of these, or you might win one. Let me show you the other prize, because I love prizes. This is the other prize. Look how gorgeous. I'm gonna open it up for you. So Jumping Fox Design just takes care of every detail beautifully. Here, I'm gonna open this. And inside is a beautiful binder. This is a letter size binder. And I'll tell you more as we go through the celebration. It's beautiful though, isn't it? This lovely green. Uh, I will be using this binder as a home for my poems, for my drafts, and for my 
for poems that I plan to send out to publication. So a lot, like a whole idea log, I'll show you because it's going to be really fun um, the way I'm going to set this up. So I'll be using these two tools in conjunction with one another, the A6 notebook for capturing ideas on the go, and then the binder for bringing them home and working at my desk. So I think that is great. And I just, I do want to say, I will be throwing some lovely prizes in as well. And we'll talk more about those. Now, just to reassure you, what is a poem? It's whatever you say it is. When you send them to me, I receive them as poems. If it's a haiku, if it's a couplet, if it's a prose poem, if it's a paragraph that you've arranged, it doesn't matter. Just write a poem and send it and it's a poem. You decide. So every week you will see a video on Monday and you'll see the first one coming this coming Monday, which I think is the 4th of um, April and then every Monday ever since after that. And I will ask you to send me poems on Fridays. So we're going to have a theme this year. Our theme that I'd like us to explore is what does it mean to be a poet? I think that leads to some very exciting, very um, generative ideas. So we'll have some sparks around that idea of being a poet. And I want to say right here, everyone can be a poet. You get to decide. I love to say to young poets, claim that early. I didn't, even though I wrote poems since I was a little girl. I sort of thought that you had to be in a big published book and be famous to be a poet. That is not the truth, my friends. When you write poems, you're a poet. So you are eligible and I am eligible and all of us are eligible and it matters that we play this way together. So that's it. We're ready. We're ready to go. I will see you next Monday. Uh, you can start writing poems. They won't be due until a week from today, but I just wanted to pop in today on the 1st of April to get you excited, get you going, get you thinking, start writing poems. Let's have a wonderful, poetic, fun April of togetherness and poetry and delight. It's going to be magical and I'm so excited that you're here. Thank you so very much for watching. And I can't wait to see you next time.